We are a country that is pursuing a global uh, happiness uh, goal. The the, I guess development should happen, but what is the end? The, the, what do you hope to achieve from development? It is the happiness of individuals or their well-being. And so having said that as a national goal, I think um, they're looking at all sorts of contributors and uh, civil society organizations like the Tarayana Foundation. We are currently partnering with the government of the day to implement uh, local mobilization as well as ensuring that development uh, initiatives are identified by local communities, that they are sitting in the driver's seat. And so there's a very clear uh, uh, acknowledgement that the local communities and empowered local community is generally better at identifying what uh, issues they have locally. Also for solution seeking, they are the ones who know best their engagement with local, their own uh, local environment and how to survive within those contexts. So using their knowledge, using traditional knowledge, using uh, the skills that they have, how can they solve the current issues that they face. So, so from the Tarena Foundation, we, are, we just consider ourselves facilitators in that process of getting the communities to recognize their own strengths and taking it from there, linking up with uh, government agencies who have the technical skills of how a certain um, problem might need to be tackled. But clearly, emphasizing on the local communities that the action they have to take is at the grassroots and they are the leaders at that uh, grassroots level. So it is working in Bhutan. It's a small country. We are just less than 700,000 people. So uh, it's definitely everyone has to chip in and get things moving. When we talk about the SDGs, it's a large overall um, set of goals that the you know, global community has adopted and global leadership has endorsed. And uh, we feel that we don't want to let it just be uh, goals that have been adopted at the national, uh, the, at the global level and remain on paper. It has to be translated into action points and how can that be done? It is generally through, um, you know, uh, in Bhutan we are practicing something called local. It's abbreviated local, but it's actually an approach that recognizes uh, the local, the impo importance of involving the local communities. Uh, going organic, definitely, it has to grow also organic, both in the sense of pesticide, chemical free uh, growth, but also uh, in that it is um, something that the communities grow into, evolve into, and so therefore the organic uh, approach. And uh, on climate related, climate change related initiatives, action and learning point. So this approach is what um, helps them feel that empowerment even closer because they know what they're talking about better than any expert coming in from the outside would know and be able to tell them. So when we can entrust local communities to look after what they need to do, then the rest of us are just catching up with the local communities. And that's when local resilience is built. Uh, we have all these unique approaches to problem, problem solving. And these are not just one or two uh, approaches. When you're engaged with communities across the country, and uh, for us, hope, uh, we hope that it'll be across the universe, actually, uh, sorry, <laughs> across uh, the globe. Every country is empowering their local communities so that we have a myriad of these different unique uh, solutions to uh, the problems that they face. And hopefully that will be uh, sufficient to, for us to help implement uh, for, for the seeds of uh, innovation to spring up from these communities in actually meeting, helping us meet the SDG goals.